Hello guys, welcome to Jim Shave uh, in this rather dimly lit and rather echoey portable shaving den. Well, it's not really a portable shaving den, it's a portable shaver in an away den. Yeah, so we're uh, currently in uh, uh, Italy, in Tuscany, but uh, I'm shaving some German products. Last time I was in Germany, I bought some uh, gear off the shelf from uh, a German high street supermarket called DM. DM. Deutsche something, probably Deutsche Markt, something like that. But uh, the products I've got were these razor blades. I do apologise for the lighting here, it is not the best. It really isn't the best. And these are Balea Men. Classic. Razia Klingen. Razia Klingen. So uh, razor blades. 10 Stuck, so the 10 blades in each tuck. And they were really cheap, really, really cheap blades. I can't remember how much they were, but they were really cheap. So uh, that's the blade I'm uh, tackling today. And also, in the same German high street supermarket, DM, I found this Balea shaving cream. Again, very, very cheap. Used it a little while ago to shave the dome. Uh, I can't remember what it was like, but uh, it worked. Now it says with mit aloe vera, so with aloe vera. So that's the cream for today. Brush for today, struggling for space here. Again, again, brush for today is gonna to be my uh, Yorkie, 24 millimeters, mysterious space. Actually, this light's falling, but it's coming through the monitor, through the uh, uh, light sensor, as a light meter is okay. Well, that's a Timberwolf knot. Razor for today is going to be the Razor Rock Game Changer and it's the Razor Rock Game Changer 84, the GC84. Blade gap, of course, 0.84 of a millimetre. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to start off, I'm going to load up the blade, whip up the cream, and I'll be right back. Okay, catch you in a bit, guys. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah. Back in this <clears throat> little echoey den. Uh, one thing I did buy today, I was, I was perusing around the local uh, Italian supermarket and uh, I had everything that was on the shelf there, I couldn't buy anything, but uh, I come across some ProRazzo white pre-shave. Don't use a lot of pre-shave as you know, but I just love the scent of this stuff, ProRazzo pre-shave. And ProRazzo pre-shave does agree with my skin. It was about ooh, 2.20, 2.20 euros, 20, so a lot, lot cheaper than it is in the UK. So I had to go for it. So I'm going to pre-shave with this first. Cold water, because this is the hotel that Jack built. There's uh, there's just no hot water. The shower, if it wants a warm shower, it, it's just a trickle. If it tries to get any pressure, it's freezing cold, ice cold. It is the hotel that Jack built. But that's what Italy's like. It's a uh, potluck on the... Uh, what hotel you get, especially at a place like Monte Catini Spa in Tuscany, where I am. So first of all, wet the whiskers. But, it's quite a clammy night, it was being about 28 degrees Celsius today. So things are starting to cool down in Italy a couple of weeks ago. But last time I was here, the temperatures were 40, 40 plus degrees Celsius. So uh, it's quite nice, quite pleasant at the moment. So there, uh, walking around in uh, shorts and stuff. Free shave. For as a white. Uh, I just, I just love the smell of it, the scent of it. It's, uh, it's a really, really nice, clean scent. So let's apply that. Now I come from the school of thoughts that uh, does prorazzo really do anything? I'm not prorazzo. Does pre-shave really do anything? Does it facilitate the shave? Does it make it easier to shave the whiskers off? And after lots of experimenting and stuff like that, I've concluded, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know if it makes any difference. I know a lot of guys will disagree with me on that one, but uh, yeah, personally, I don't know. Let's wipe the lips off. Okay. As you know, this is the cream I'm using, Balia shaving cream. And I have whipped that up in my Chinese noodle bowl. And there we have the lava there. 
There's the brush, nice and shiny, scent. We'll put it this way. <laughs> the the uh, Barossa White Pre-Shave has got more scent than the shaving cream. There is a scent in there. It's very, very light. I don't know what it is. But it's a very budget shaving cream. It's, sold. it's just sold as a shaving cream. But uh, look how shiny that is. Took a lot of water. Whipped up nicely. And look at that lava, guys. It's rich and dense. And it's gonna wear, it's gonna go a long way. As you can see, this is just a one brush load. Just feel nice. I've got a fair old grow for me at the moment. I can actually feel this lava is actually dragging the skin. So I reckon I can build up more water and tip once it's on the face. Which is what I'm doing. Just running the rush under the cold sap here and just applying a wee bit more water. When this lava's taken it, without well, any trouble whatsoever. Now, this lava had a nice sense. I reckon it'll be. A top rate, uh, rate uh, shaving foam, shaving, <gasps> did I just say shaving foam? I meant shaving cream. I do apologise. Yeah, but the cover's good, looks good, there's just no scent to it. Well, not everybody wants scent, so no problem. Okay, raise on GC86, game changer. With the blades are unbranded on the blade itself, the blade is just blank. There's the, uh, Packaging for the blade, it just shows a razor blade. Same as the Nettle ones, they just show a razor blade on a white background. As these show the razor blade on a black background. So, I assume they come from the same manufacturer. Okay, so let's get shaving, shall we? Gotta be quick because, uh, gotta, oh, that nice, that's nice. I'm driving to Rome tomorrow from Tuscany. So, I'll be leaving. You're leaving here at six o'clock in the morning, so uh, that's here about five a.m. Now this is a very cheap blade, but it's not a tough blade. It's great. It's nice. Doesn't say what country they're made in. So it's not giving any clues away. But by the way, shaving, I'd say this was an Indian blade. Certainly a good blade. Really needed this shave too. So up until today I've had two really, really long days. Got another long day tomorrow and a short day. Then two massively long days because uh, to start the long day, the, the long drive back to the UK. Two extremely long days. And I'm in the UK for about four to eight hours. Then I'm going to leave again and drive to uh, Austria on a 10 day job. Now, I don't think I've been in the uh, <laughs> Shops in Austria looking for shaving products. Because it's quite a while since I've been to uh, last, last in Austria. But I should imagine it'd be pretty similar to Germany, shaving products wise. I think it was, what did it last winter, winter before? 
would have been the last time I was in Austria, shopping. Spread the slickness around, and there is certainly slickness there. A lot of messes, but it's there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add some more water to this lava. In fact, I just put the water direct, directly into the bowl from the main stream of the tap. Let's hope I haven't killed it. Because <laughs> a bit more water than I uh, I'd wished went in there, but uh, it's the first time I've ever done that. Actually, put water into the bowl directly from the tap. No, but it's. Uh, no, it's worked the trees. If there's any of this lava left, which uh, I think there will be, I'll do a quick head shave. So it will have to be quick, because I haven't got, got much sleeping time left. When we do these, uh, some of these jobs to Italy, we really don't get lots of uh, downtime. Not much downtime at all. But we all remember that horrible lockdown from COVID 19, so uh, we can't really grumble. Those of us who work in the tourist industry. We should welcome the fact that we've been busy again. Any of you guys out there, any of you working in the tourist industry? Just a smooth shave with this uh, game changer. As you can see, uh, since the addition of more water, you can see the difference in this lava. As I'm shaving, it's all over my face. Slickness has improved. I could actually, I could properly use this lava, lava, this soap. If I lived in Germany, I'd be quite happy to buy this off the peg and use this as a daily shaving cream. I'll probably get bored by the fact that there's no sense, but <laughs> yeah, but yeah. This was really, really cheap. I'm getting no irritations at all from the blade. No tugging. It's all hunky dory. That's really nice. That really is. Rinse. Well, I say rinse, I'm not rinse, I'm, I'm not rinsing, I'm just wetting the hand. I want a good feel around, seeing what's still there. I don't rinse properly until the, uh, after the final pass. Keep the slipness on the skin, what's the point of washing it off? Okay, let's go by number three. Loads of lava left here for the head shave. That means even less sleep time. Yeah, so we uh, went to Florence today, went up to uh, Piazza Michelangelo, Michelangelo's David overlooking the uh, city of Florence, or Firenze, those that follow me on my Facebook will have seen that. Tomorrow's Rome, doing a guided tour of Rome, and the following day, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Yeah. I know, I've 
been to all these places before. Look at screen. Wi Fi in this hotel. Really, really crap. I don't pick the Wi Fi up unless I'm actually in the reception areas. And even then, it's not good. So I don't really know when this video is going to upload. Because my mobile hotspot, which I've recently acquired, I can't use it in Europe. Well, maybe it could, but it costs an absolute fortune. Yeah, it's one of those uh, things that Brexit didn't do us any favours with uh, mobile phones and stuff like that. Look, I'm very smart. Oh, look, my usual chinny weaver. So, if I bump into the pole tomorrow, I'll, uh, oh, I'll be a little bit smart. I'm sick of weeping, pop on there every time I shave now. It's got to stop at some time, surely. And this blade now, it's so smooth, it's just gliding. Or is it the, uh, is it the cheap bargain shave cream? So it must be. Okay, go on for this. Oh, it's so slick. Got a little touch up here. As you can see, I'm touching up areas that I don't normally touch up, so uh, maybe that's a mild way. Whatever it is, there's a comfortable way, that's a good shape. Right, that's the slip, and it's gone. This, this, just lighting just looks weird. Super. Now, as I'm using the ad hoc shaving cream, I'm going to be using one of my ad hoc aftershave splashes. One of the splashes I just automatically put in my uh, traveling bag these days. That is the uh, Gillette Sea Mist. And this is a really nice smelling aftershave splash. A bit more. Little, little sting and that nice smell of melon. Now, why I get melon from a splash that's called Sea Mist, I'll never know. That is what I get. More than happy with that, guys. More than happy with that. Okay. So, I'll just go through a quick recap. And hopefully, that weed will stop by the time we're finished. Okay, the cream for today was the Balia or Bali shaving cream. From Germany. Blade for today was the same brand, Balia uh, Blade from Germany. From a store in Germany called DM or Deutsche Mark, I do believe it could be. That was all whipped up in my Chinese soup bowl with my Yaki Mysterious Space Timberwolf Knotted Brush. Oh, pre shave was the Prorazza White, and that was all finished off with a Gillette aftershave splash. 
Okay, guys, my friends, thank you very for much for watching. I've had a little uh, flurry of uh, subscribers over the last week, so I do thank you very much for that. Thanks to all new subscribers, existing subscribers, everybody that comments, everybody that gives a thumbs up. I appreciate you all. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you further down the line. Bye bye now.